Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be discussing about the rule inputs and local variables. So we have already created our expression in our previous sessions and uh, I will create the same expression again. And also you can see the last modify and the date and time, right? So whenever we are looking for something, we can add filters here. We have a lot of filters here, the last modified by last modifier on, and these are the object filter and this is name. So we can do that. This this will if I'll write something here, it will directly filter it out. Or if I wanted to filter it out with the UUID or ID, it's a unique ID of every object. We can use it. Or if I'll choose the expression one, then if I'll write something like a string, then it will give me the result of that keyword which we are trying to find as an expression, right? So currently we are not using anything like that. That's why it, let's let's try to use index here. So if I'll use index, then it will find out wherever I have put that particular keyword. You can see I'm getting that index is in this expression. So this is what we can do as a search and let's get back to what we need to discuss. So we need to understand the rule input as well as the local variables. So what are local variables? Let's understand that first. So local variable is a variable which we only be using inside the expression rule as it's a local, right? The name is local. It means we cannot send the data out from the local variable to outside the scope of the local variable. So what the what is a scope basically? A scope is basically whenever we are uh, using or creating some data types, or some different variables, then the scope of that variable will be inside the function, right? We cannot use the variable outside that function. So for example, if I'll write a bank local variables, so this is my function to use local variables, right? So whenever I will be creating any local variable, I will be creating in this only. And uh, the local variables which I am creating, I can only use that variables inside this, these brackets, means inside a bank local variables. So what is the syntax of a, a bank local variable? We can see this also. We can create the local variable one to local variable n. And the last parameter will be expression. So this is important because let's try to create first local variables. So I'm creating the local variable one, local bank two. So this is how we need to create local variables. And the last parameter will be the expression. So I'm not using my local variables which I have created. I'm just putting the test string as an expression, this last parameter. And you can see this hint is coming that I am not using this local variable. If I test this, then I'm getting the test because this is my expression. So whatever I will be writing inside the expression, that will be my output of this whole function. Currently, this whole function is the only function in this expression. So output of this expression rule, right? So let's do one thing. Let's try to put some values inside local bank one. And uh, let's say I'll put some integer value in this one and some string value in this one and now again if i'll test the value is still same because we are not using these again inside my expression so how i can use it i can also concatenate by using n percent and i just need to use local bank one and again local bank two so this is how we can access the local variables by using local bank and you can see there is no warning coming because we are using both of them now. And I can give some space in between. And here also I can give some space by putting this empty space. If I'll try to test it, then I'm getting the string. This is my desired string, right? So this is how we need to use these local variables. And the scope of these local variables which I'm creating will be only inside this place, right? For example, I will create one more local bank local bank three and then again i will use a bank local variable here and i will again create a local variable test inside this one and local bank test two a b c so now the comma is missing so now you can see i have declared again these local variable inside this local bank three 
and if, if I will try to concatenate some local variable with a b c then I will you can see I can use any of the local variable because the scope of these variables are globally we can use this here as well as inside this one so I can use local bank and uh, if I try to use one I can use and again if I wanted to use the local variable here if I write local bank you can see the only available options are one two three these test and test two I cannot use it because the scope of these test two and test three will be only inside this particular local variable right I can now use three and if I'll test it again you can see I am getting the desired which is ABC12 and these are still unused because we have we are not using these so it's better to not create unused local variable it's the best practice whatever we are creating we need to use it otherwise let's not create it so this is my local variables the other is rule inputs rule inputs because with the help of local variables we cannot send data from outside to inside or from inside to outside so that's where the rule input comes into the picture and the sections which we are not using it previously this right hand side section this is for rule inputs i can create my rule input here rule input so i'll name this let's say test and this is the name of the rule input the description i can give if i want if i wanted to describe something about this rule input and the type of the rule input let's say the type will be number integer if the value is an array i can check this if not then it's not mandatory right and we can delete this again and how to test it now so my rule input is created i can create n number of rule inputs in this section and you can see the test input is also coming now because we can put some different different values inside the expression and we can test the value so let's say um, if i wanted to use the rule input inside this local bank test so how i can use it by using ri bank right so this is the way which we need to use when we wanted to use rule input and you can see only there is one rule input set that's why the test is coming so now i'm using my test rule input here and i will concatenate with abc i will use local bank and test so now whatever i will be writing here it will go inside this ra bank in and inside this local bank test and it will concatenate it with the abc so let's put some semicolon and some space and now i will put my name akshay and because this is a number integer i cannot put a string right you are getting the issue so i need to put some numbers 1 2 3 and if i test this now you can see i'm getting this string as a whole string because why this is coming as a string because we are using this and percent and this whole thing is getting concatenated and it is getting converted into the type text right if i don't want to convert this into the type text then we can change it to the to integer but this is a string there are some letters so we will not do it and my rule input is working fine if i wanted to test it with another rule inputs i can put the value here and i will test it and now because this is a rule input if i'll save this so whenever i will be calling this expression rule i can pass the value inside this rule input right so this is how we can get some data inside this rule input by using this rule input and um, this rule input will also help us to send some data outside this expression rule so this is how we need to work with rule input that's all in this lecture